if a new president is elected in Mali, now he will fail. As Migoita says, listen to his explanation, the explanation by Malian Prime Minister on why presidential elections are currently not a priority in Mali or why the Malian transitional president Colonel Asmi Goita will stay in power in his transitional capacity for a much longer period than expected. Let's listen to him. The Maiga on why presidential elections are currently not a priority in Mali, or rather why the Malian transitional president, Colonel Asmi Goita, will stay in power in his transitional capacity for a much longer period than expected. If we ever elect a president right away, in a few months, he will fall, and he will also not have the necessary strength to stop or say no to Westerners. The first thing is security. And when you look at history, never in history has a nation ever reconstituted itself through elections. Never. It is determined by people who ensure security, and then afterwards, people hold elections. And talking of elections, I gave the case of Haiti. Haiti is the first independent country in Latin America. They have had more elections than all the countries combined. But today, they've chased their president, so elections are an element of democracy. Because a democracy without elections cannot work. But you should not bring everything back to the elections. We have had elections since 1992. But it was very clear to us that as long as we have not resolved the question of insecurity, we cannot go to elections. It's just empty talk. This is actually the main point of contention, because there was a lack of understanding between part of the political class and the land they were ruling. Anyone who does not integrate this point into their reasoning cannot understand anything, because it all starts with security. We analyzed the situation, and we came to two conclusions. The first is that without imposing peace, impose the strength of the Malian state because a state is strength and law strength to be opposed to anyone who wants to impose themselves by force and law to defend the weakest without this we will continue to change regimes and terrorism will occur we went from independence we went to military regime military regimes we went to single party and we came to multi-party We will keep going until Africa is disintegrated. Just drop your thoughts in the comment section. But my take here is, I keep wondering why people, especially in in my continent, in Africa, like clinging to power. When they get hold of power, like... It's like they see it like a, a duo by affair. If if election is not a priority, and from what he's explaining here, if election is not the solution to Africans Wahala, then what is the solution? He's staying in power longer than expected his his transitional capacity spending more time there longer than expected to avert election will he bring solution to the country's wahala will he fix the country will he fix if if that will fix mali okay then let's see we are watching let us see if he's clinging to power, staying there longer than expected, and averting election will fix Mali, fine, let's see. 
Thank you again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. Hope to see you in my nest as I bring your way again more trending news. Bye.